We're on. OK, uh, now, I'll tell you what, uh, Geelong weren't they firing on all fours up against Carlton and this was a terrific performance from the Cats and Kane, as you know, you can never actually say you've won it until you've won it, but it never really looked in danger this one, did it? That's it, Bill. No, it didn't, uh, <laughs> except for the first quarter. They started all right, uh, Carlton. They kicked one goal five, some really poor misses there, but then the Cats got on top. After quarter time, Zach Tui kicked two goals, Gary Rowan. Maxie Holmes kicked his first goal, Guffley 28, but a very good player, the man who kicked two goals, played on the wing, played half back, and he got booed a little bit yesterday. What? Is this man, the Irish man, Zachariah Tui. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Zach. And you got booed a bit yesterday, Zach. Yeah, good day, Bill. Uh, not for the first time. Um, but it was good fun. It's always nice to get one over on your former team. Well, they got sick of booing uh, towards the end, didn't yeah. they, Lordo? Because yeah. uh, Lockie Henderson also got booed, and he was good. But a good uh, good start by Carlton, Zach. They started well, and then you slowly got going in the second and third quarters. Yeah, it was tricky conditions. Um, it was really slippery and, and uh, all you had to do was kind of get the ball going forward and it was really hard to defend. Uh, fortunately for us, they didn't quite make the most of their opportunities and I thought as the game went on, we got better and better. And, and full credit, though, a lot of we made of Liam Jones and uh, Casbolt pulling out for Carlton, but to win these games, no Joel Selwood, no Jeremy Cameron, but your system stood up uh, across the game. 18 more inside 50s at the end of it, uh, Zach. Yeah, I thought we got our um, we got what we deserved at the end of the game, which was which was a win. And um, you're right, we're missing some key players. So are they. Um, so are most teams at the minute. Um, but at this time of year, you just want to be clocking up the wins uh, and get yourself to a point where it looks like you're assured of finals. Zach, uh, Tom Stewart's putting together an another extraordinary season. He had a few moments uh, against Charlie Cameron a few weeks ago, but he's got that out of the system. He's tracking for, a, you'd think, a another All-Australian. How important is he just to have in this team, just through your lens? Yeah, he's remarkable. He's um, If he's not the best defender I've ever played with, he's very close to it. And a lot of what he does is so much more difficult than it probably appears uh, on TV. And... Um, yeah, he's he's arguably our most important, certainly one of our most important players. Um, it's a remarkable story given where he came from as well. Did Zach, you, um, were you surprised with what happened against Charlie Cameron? Because it had been so out of character, hadn't it, to, to that point of uh, what he displayed publicly? Yeah, look, he's, he, um, Stewie gets targeted every week by opposition um, and he almost always dominates games regardless. Um, so yeah, it's inevitable you see those incidents every now and then. Um, but yeah, it's, it was one in a hundred games for Stewie and yeah. he's pretty much dominated every other one. <laughs> Zach, if you're not the best kick in the competition, you're in the top two or three. What is it about a lot of the Irish guys that come into our game that have got that sort of high arch with their arm and, and they can kick the ball so well field kicking? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, you know, people say you, you come into it with no bad habits and you can learn from scratch, so maybe that's true. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess they are picking the Irish guys that they think can best um, adapt to the game. Um, so you're probably not seeing some of the worst kicks. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure. I got a lot, of, a lot of great help early in my career, actually from David Teague in particular. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. How did he help you? In what way? Can you explain that for us? Yeah, well, he was the development coach at Carlton when I first arrived. And um, we would spend hours post-training or on our days off just working on my kicking and um, getting rid of a few of the bad habits I did, did have early. Um, so I spent a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with Tiggy early in my career. I'm very, very uh, grateful to him. Hey, whilst we're still on you and Bill alluded to it, you play everywhere. I think you're probably the most one-of versatile players in the game. Back, wing, midfield, you can play a run-with role. Where, where's your preference? Yeah, um, I'm really enjoying kind of that wing role at the minute. Um, I played predominantly on the wing, certainly from the halfway mark last year, um, and it really seemed to suit me. But um, clearly I've been a, a career half back, so I'm very comfortable down there. And mm. to be honest, Ken, I've just found it at this stage of my career really refreshing. I've said this a few times. Um, it's just given me a whole new kind of perspective and, and lease on life in terms of playing the game. So I found it really enjoyable.
Uh, when we spoke to you during the ad break, Tony did ask you what the G stands for oh, on your oh, Come on. <laughs> you did, Tony, did you or did well, you I not? Thought, I thought it might have been Galway or something, oh, you know, yeah. and then I, the penny oh, dropped. It was actually Geelong. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, what's the point of bringing that? You want me to start bringing up some of the things you said? Yes, please. Break? Go on. You sure you want Everyone it? knows it's G for Geelong. <laughs> Bit of tension between you two, isn't there? Yeah. Come on, no. Tony, you're better than that. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Now, <laughs> uh, your, your set goal routine, we love this with the moustache. Look at that big bushy moustache. Looks like Merv Hughes a bit. Here he goes. Here he knows a bit of a moustache. <laughs> Spin the ball. And is that a set routine or you, you don't know you're doing it? I'd be very happy if... No, nah, it's not conscious at all. One of my coaches here, Major Lappin, constantly pulls me up on it. Um, yeah, look, uh, it's kind of... I, I kind of have to. I'd be eating my moustache if I don't do it. Um, so it has just become force of habit just to get on my lips. <laughs> now, because uh, I, I did mention earlier in the program about uh, I thought he, the moustache was very similar to the guy off Escape to the Chateau, and I think oh. Dick Strawbridge his name is. Oh, oh. Um, so, yeah. yeah, that wasn't quite the photo. <laughs> that's, not, uh, that's not the one <laughs> that... Uh, so, uh, well, mate, when they send me one photo, and I think, oh, yeah, that looks like Zach, yeah, and then they give me that one, it looks more like Bert, Bert Reynolds or yeah. something. Uh, good one, Teach. <laughs> anyway, some votes, Teach. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm fired today. Uh, Sammy Walsh was outstanding. We didn't mention for old Sammy. He was yeah, outstanding. Was. Uh, Tom Stewart, Zachariah there, and Lockie Henderson in his 200th game. But we we must mention uh, Jacob Wiedering. Yeah. Uh, kept Tom Hawkins goalless yesterday, and we had a really good game. So well done to Jacob there. He's had a fine year, Tony. Yes, indeed he has. So uh, good on you, Zach. It's always a pleasure to Prize talk to you. Pat. Yeah, I'm getting to that. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Zach, and Billy's got some prizes for you there. <laughs> ah, the Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Balls. Who's the best golfer at the club, Zach? Uh, Lucky Henderson. Righto, Travis Matthews. Quite a long way. Caps, there you go. Also, there's the Callaway Golf Balls. They're very nice. Not Galloway. No, no, uh, the Callaway. Travis Matthew Caps, four of those. The Aquila Shoes, you'll love these, Zachariah. Uh, they've been kicking goals since 1958. We love Aquila here. The Bar Fridge from Bar Fridges Australia. They're the best in the business. Just uh, look online now, Bar Fridges Australia. Rick's Eyewear will give you a pair of nice sunnies there. Just go to rickseyewear.com.au for 20% discount and mention the word job. Uh, Platform 28, dinner for two at Lordo's favourite. Marco Rolly there, he's opened yeah. up, he's ready to go. Is it the dumplings? Yeah, and the Cullen. I've already met up with uh, Marco of course, yeah. way, since we've reopened, but at Crown the other day, Bill. So. Oh, oh, did you? Mm. Did you get around? Yeah, yeah. An AMFX, this custom-made fire pit. It'll look good out in the backyard there at Belmont or wherever you are, Zach. Geelong. Yeah, yeah, I need to I need to add a bit of colour to the backyard. It's quite dull here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's the kids? Last time we spoke yeah. to you, you were talking about the children, and they're very quiet there. Where, where are they? The missus has gone to Bunnings. <laughs> <laughs> She's a... What? what? I'm, I kicked her out of the house. It's not worth trying to do these things with kids here and the missus here. <laughs> what is she getting at Bunnings? Yeah. No, nah, I'm not sure. I don't, I, I don't ask questions. I'm just happy she's gone. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Some potatoes. <laughs> Lee wears the pants in that relationship. Potatoes. Uh, it's not doing our image any good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good on you, Zach. It's always nice to talk to you, mate. Yes. And uh, good luck for the remainder of the season. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks, guys. Good on you, mate. Okay.